a Battenberg pop cake. I just finished the Great British Bake Off technical challenge, the first week technical challenge or the technical bake for the Great British Bake Off. If you haven't seen it, go check it out after this video. Now I had a lot of leftovers from that Battenberg cake. I mean, a lot. I don't understand how anyone can make it without making so much waste. And I felt so guilty for having so much waste. So what I did was I took all the cake and I combined it with the butter. Blah, 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 blah. I took all the scraps and I took it, I took all the scraps and then I combined it with the butter. <laughs> uh, I combined the scraps and the buttercream together because that's what I had left over. Okay, okay. And they will make great cake pops. I shan't waste them. There's a lot of wastage in this, this thing. I didn't really touch the marzipan. You can use the marzipan if you want. I don't really particularly like it, but I don't mind the actual almond cake. Hit and miss sometimes. Anyway, point is, is that after making these, which weren't a great deal, I've got eight of these. They look great. They also look like wonton skins, if anyone like know the reference. They look like wonton skins. Anyway, so because I felt bad, I created basically, um, you know, the Starbucks um, pop cake ball things that they cover with molten chocolate and it tends to be like blue pink vibrant colors i don't have molten chocolate but i made the filling for it so this is something you can pop as a treat you can also wrap the marzipan around it if you wanted to make a inadvertent battenberg cake ball a batten a battenberg pop cake that's your choice that's up to you but i just made them like like just raw i you know what they would be really good with and i'm not gonna lie dark chocolate dark chocolate would be amazing with this um so i do uh, you know i do not recommend wasting food i think we are very fortunate to have lots of food but please if you do have loads um use something with it make another dish I would love if I had dark chocolate right now to cover these because they would be great as a treat. And they, they do make a lot. I had nine all together. I've eaten one. Nine, yeah. So you so what I've essentially done is with one batter, one recipe, and of course I will link the video here and also include any ingredients for the Battenberg and of course this down below. But just saying that, honestly, you can make so much out with all the ingredients you've made for one recipe. It surprised me how much waste I had. Um, so I thought I'd put a little cute note there. I think that's it for today. I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'll see you next time for the next week's technical bake challenge for the Great British Bake Off. I'm really excited. Um, I'm not too sure. I think it's, I'm not too sure if it's bread week yet. Something like that. I'm gonna be really intrigued. I really like bread week, so hopefully it is bread week. See you later.